In January, the left of centre Berlin State Parliament declared International Women's Day a public holiday, a first in the Federal Republic of Germany. This increases the number of bank holidays from 9 to 10, helping Berlin catch up with other German states such as Bavaria, which has a jammy 13 public holidays. Apart from giving most citizens an extra day off work, the point of Berlin's new International Women's Day holiday is to honour the women's movement and their struggle for equality. At the local, editor Rachel Stern has been reporting on this development. I think it's really great that it's officially being recognized as a holiday. It's existed in Germany for over a hundred years. It was mostly celebrated as an East German holiday and women employers there were even recognized ironically by their male bosses every year and women would receive red carnations. But along with the parties and celebrations, a number of demonstrations, campaigns and even strikes are taking place on and around the big day. Another member of the local team, Rachel Loxton, is using her holiday to support the cause. It's, it seems to be a, a very typical Berlin thing to have this as a holiday rather than, say, a religious day like the other states in Germany. I think it's really important that there is a lot of activism on Women's Day. It's not just a gesture or a day off. It's really women coming together, but men as well, of course, <laughs> making their voices heard about what, what equality should be. While many are delighted to get a day off, some women fighting for equality see the day in a different light. Judith Daniel, a member of the German parliamentary wing of the Linke Party and one of the organisers of the Women's Strike Committee in Berlin, has mixed feelings about the holiday. Of course we're happy um, that uh, women's struggle and his, the historic struggle for, struggle for women's rights um, has been honoured in that way. But of course um, we have to organise the strike action around it. So there are a lot of women that work in low-paying sectors that simply have no holiday. This year, our main goal is that women's work will be visible because women's work is so often forgotten. To make sure their thunder isn't being stolen, some activists made use of the day before to go on strike at the Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung. I think the public holiday doesn't, doesn't really apply for all the women because like cleaning the house, taking care of the children, it still has to be done. I think the most important thing is um, to create awareness and to empower women. That Lud Zucker, an editor at Neues Deutschland and a member of Collectext, a collective supporting young women journalists, feels the holiday is a false panacea for women's struggle for equality. How are you going to strike, actually strike, if it's already a holiday? Germany has kind of a self-image that everything is going so well in terms of gender equality. I have a bit the feeling like the government saw that we were mobilizing for the strike and then said just in time, you know what, we're going to give you a holiday, we're so generous, uh, look how feminist we are, we're doing you a favor and actually they're not doing us a favor, they're taking away the strength of the strike. Whatever Berliners and other Germans feel about the holiday, it's now in the official calendar whether as an official public commemoration of women and their ongoing struggle for equality, or as a civic favour and lip service to women's rights. The end goal is smashing the patriarchy. <laughs> Christine Madden in Berlin for The Local.